Well, after months of controversy, Margaret Spellings officially starts her job today as UNC system president. But the outcry is far from over. Students, faculty, and staff around the state and in our area at UNC Chapel Hill are rallying against her appointment. That's where North Carolina news reporter Justin Quisenberry joins us with what the demonstrators are saying. Justin. Russ, that rally here at UNC Chapel Hill wrapped up just moments ago, but you can see that students remain here after that ended. Organizers urge students, faculty, and staff to walk out of class in a public show of opposition to the hiring of Margaret Spellings. Spellings signed a five-year contract making $775,000 a year. They opposed her getting the job, saying it was too political and done in secrecy. The Board of Governors hired her after ousting President Tom Ross. Some criticized her record while education secretary under President George W. Bush. She oversaw the launch of No Child Left Behind and denounced PBS for spending public money on a cartoon with lesbian characters. She also served on the board of a company that collects student loan debt. It's disgusting. It's a conflict of interest. She's a leech profiting off of our suffering. She was the architect of No Child Left Behind, which ruined public education in the United States. Today is her first day on the job. She's already started. What can be accomplished through this now? Well, to draw attention to uh, her ideology, her long public record on these matters, and what that means for the future of North Carolina. What? Spellings has said that she is surprised by the intensity of the reaction to her hiring and looks forward to meeting and learning from people who have questions about her record and her intentions. Our political reporter, Bo Minnick, is meeting with her today, talking to her about her first day on the job. You can watch that interview tonight on North Carolina News starting at 5 p.m. Justin Quisenberry, North Carolina News, Chapel